Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. Thanks for tuning in to TFB TV GunFest 2021. We're bringing you all the new products from your favorite manufacturers for the year. I've got Ian with Primary Arms with me today. They're introducing three new optics. Ian, go ahead, take it away, start us okay. off. What are we working with? Well, um, like you'd already said, we're um, introducing three new optics. I'm gonna start kind of small and work my way up to the big ones here. Perfect. So one of the ones I'm really excited about this year is um, we're doing a co-brand with Holosun. And so we're taking the, the, the venerable Holosun 507, you know, a great reflex side. It's well proven with the uh, solar panel on the top, great battery life, everything like that. Environmentally friendly. Oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and it's durable, rugged, um, and basically we, we partnered with them and we put one of our ACSS reticles in there. And it's the, this particular one is called the ACSS Vulcan. And so we went with a very unique design on this one. It's kind of revolutionary in that not only does it have a chevron center aiming point as opposed to your, your traditional 2 MOA dot, but we also have a what we like to call an aiming aid, which is your a segmented or basically a circle that goes around the outside of the chevron that helps the user find the center aiming point. And so it's a 2 uh, MOA yeah, circle. I see. Okay, yeah, so it's like that makes a lot of sense because whenever you have, you know, a lot of people, you, you'll lose your dot, especially exactly. like when you're coming out of concealment or whatever. So yeah, I see that. And, it's funny, actually visualizing it uh, versus you describing it. I mean, that is a big circle. It is. It but is. It, it's it's neat because you can kind of see the curvature of the circle and it guides you into this. I mean, absolutely. At first, I got to be honest with you. And at first, I was thinking gimmick. Yeah. This is pretty freaking cool. It it is, and and I got to agree. When we were first talking about it and kind of thinking about it, Dimitri brought it up to us and and everything. We were we were kind of skeptical, but once we actually started playing with it and, and getting on and started using it, it, it's actually very intuitive, and it's pretty slick. Like you mentioned, if you're going to present the firearm, or even in like a stressful or kind of like a quick movement thing, you know, sometimes with a traditional red dot, you just have that little tiny dot, and you're trying to figure out where that thing is. This one, you have this huge circle that basically points you towards the center. And, and you the, can't even see the circle when you're on target. Like whenever yeah. you've got that reticle in the in the center, your little chevron, you can't see the circle. Nope. Like it's a, okay. It's really hard to explain. Even when we were writing the manuals, I was helping with that. We we're trying to do a lot of pictures and stuff. And it's hard to kind of like explain to somebody how, how it is without you actually physically looking at it. So yeah, and that is, we've, like I said, we played with that quite a bit. We put a lot of rounds down range with that. And I had an opportunity to do a lot of the recoil testing on all these optics. And so when I was, you know, blown through a lot of rounds, I got to play a little bit, of course. And so it's amazing how much you can cant off to the side, up, down and everything. And you can still see the Find circle. Way home. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So for me, I have, you know, I've played with some other reflex sights on handguns. And that was one of my biggest complaints initially once I started playing with the handguns is you have a tendency to kind of lose where that thing is. Oh, for sure. And if you don't sit there and practice your presentation every single time, get that muscle memory down, you don't know exactly where it is every time. And that's not hurting anything. No. Like that's the thing is that there's no downside to that no, being absolutely. there. Because again, like you're on target, you can't even see it. Correct. The only time you're going to see it is if you're actually not on target. So, Correct. I, yep. I mean, it makes actually a whole lot of sense. I, I've, I've been convinced in like the past two minutes. Like, nice. I, I mean, dead serious. Yeah, like I'd already mentioned earlier, um, it's a reflex style uh, red dot. So as you can see, it's mounted on a, a handgun. It uses a, the RMR plate. So that's that's great. A lot of compatibility with other optics or a lot of other handguns or platforms or what have you. You got the solar panel. Um, you got the battery on the, the side here. So, you know, you don't have to take the optic off to put the battery on if you need to change it. But even with the solar panel and the, the the battery life is still great. It's like twenty thousand hours, I oh, think, yeah. at like six of ten or six of twelve. Yeah, yeah. It, and and with this one, since we got the the chevron, the circle off, you can actually turn the circle off if you want to, if you want to oh. just roll with the chevron, and so that'll increase your battery life even further. True. Some of the other features, it's got their auto on, auto off technology, so. If it sits idle, it'll turn itself off to conserve battery even further. Shake awake. And then, yep, the shake awake, yep. How much is it gonna cost? When, when so, can I get it? So, um, they're actually uh, for sale now on our website, and our cost is two, or sorry, the retail cost is two ninety nine. dollars Okay, very cool. What do we have next? So, the next one we have here is um, our MD25. So, this is our 25 millimeter red dot. And what's that referring to is the clear aperture, basically how much view you get through the optic. You'll notice it's physically a lot larger than your standard micro red dots, which is like a lot of our traditional primary arms branded red dots, but it still uses the same mounting platforms, your, your micro, your industry standard micro red dot sites. 
So you can use your favorite brand of mount, whatever it is, whether it be LaRue, American Defense, or we even have our own new brands and that's kind of our, our new mounts, which is, is mounted on here, right? And then this particular one is the ACSS version. Um, we also offer a two MOA red dot. So, and this is very similar to the red dot or the, the reticle that we've been using in our, our other co-brand with Hollow Sun. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's been proven to be a very reliable and good reticle, and it's also very flexible. You can use it, it's primarily geared for 5.56, but you can use it for a lot of different calibers, and you'll have the, the bullet drop compensation. Yeah, I can see that, like a little tiny BDC. Yep, exactly, and then that, that horseshoe around the outside, you can actually, it's 65 MOA, so it'll work very well with a uh, shotgun, should you need to use it with that. Okay, very cool. Battery life on this. So that one, you're looking at, uh, with the, ACSS version, you're looking about 12,000 hours on a medium setting, and then with the red dot version, about 50,000 hours. Mm. I'm gonna ask you to do some math for me. What is that in years or so days? So 50,000 is, this, I know. is about 5.7, and then 12,000 is, if my math is correct in my head, is it gonna be just under two years? I believe you. 1.8 years, something like okay. that, yeah. yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah I'm not, I, I don't know enough about math to challenge you on that. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> right? math numbers, yeah, something like that. But it, it's pretty substantial time. So even with the ACSS version, what we were kind of gearing it for is that particular one doesn't have the auto on, auto off illumination, but we wanted a really efficient system. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to use this as like your your home defense rifle or what have you, or your, your deer hunting rifle, you don't really necessarily to keep it turning it off. You can keep it at a setting that you like, and it's always ready to go. Because the battery life is, is long enough that you just replace it when needed. Uh, we, we usually tell people like when it's your your birthday, you just go around, change all the batteries yeah, and sure. something like that. But so Yeah, kind of a crappy way to spend a birthday, but I mean, yeah, I guess yeah, you I mean, remember it. Yeah, yeah, fair, yeah. fair. At least you get to fondle some guns. If I get this thing wet, is it going to crap out on me? Absolutely not. One of the things that um, we wanted to make sure is that these things could withstand real world abuse. Um, so this this is going to retail for about $169. So it's not geared for you to be doing any sort of beach assault on the moon. However, it is geared for, you know, your, your usual shooting environments. You know, if you're going to go to the range and you throw it in your truck, or if you, you're out hunting and you accidentally drop it in the river, stuff like that, it's designed to handle that stuff. We test it to a minimum of one meter, but we've had um, other optics, or we've had other people test those and they've gone in excess. We had one of our 1X prismatics that went down to 200 feet and it survived and brought it back up, not a single issue. So they're very robust optics. Um, that particular model, I personally have put 7,000 rounds of 308 on a SCAR mm -hmm. through one, and at this point in time, I'm trying to break it. I've thrown it on the ground a few times. It's got like dents in the tube. Mm -hmm. um, we've thrown it in an oven a few times. I've done a few things just to try to see what we can to, to break it. Mm -hmm. A lot of that stuff is all designed in-house in Houston, Texas, or Houston, Texas, sorry. And then it was manufactured to our specifications that we designed at, at our factory in China. And so we worked really closely with the factory and, you know, obviously we're doing all the engineering in-house. So we knew kind of what we were looking for and what we wanted and we wanted to make sure that we had something that was really good. And we went through a lot of samples and prototypes to arrive at what you see before you to make sure that we had something that we as a, a company would want to put on our guns and actually go use, not just sell to the customer. Gotcha. So moving on from Red Dots, 1X Optics, you guys have uh, Magnified Optic as well, right? Yes. Yes. So um, this is our 2.5 to 10 by 44. So we have had this particular scope body out for some time, but what I'm introducing on this one is a new reticle. So this is an adaptation of our ACSS Griffin Mill, which is not a new reticle, but it's new in this optic. And it's a, it's, a, it's a mill grid type optic. Um, so this one is first focal plane. So you can use it any magnification. You got the mill grid. So you can use it with any caliber. And it's a great for like a DMR or precision rifle type application. Or since it is caliber specific, you can put it on kind of whatever you want it. One of the, the gentlemen that I work with, he's got it on a 6.5 Grendel and he, he's been taken out to a thousand yards. Loves that scope. Tell me more about it. If I, I mean, I see you're saying uh, here you're introducing it with a new reticle, Correct. right? Yep. Uh, let's say I've never even heard of this optic before. So, so that is our um, our kind of basically our mid tier series, which we like to call our GLX. So this red dot would be our SLX, and that's kind of like the 
the bread and butter line, and then this is like your next tier up, our medium tier. So that is our GLX line made in the Philippines. It's got the more premium glass compared to our SLX line. Um, this one also, as we're stepping up in tier, is going to increase the, the features on it. Most of our SLX optics are gonna just have your stack usual or like your normal tactical style turrets. Mm -hmm. um, this one has got your auto locking as well as a push button. So those buttons, once you actually push it to, to the zero point and it's set, it'll lock it in place. And then if gotcha. you want to disengage the lock, you press the button. Oh, I see, okay, and so it's a buttons right here. Yeah, yep. got it. Yeah, so it's the return to zero, like. Okay, so, so locking turrets. Basically locking yeah. turrets, and then also it's got a, 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 a stop for your zero. So once you achieve a zero, you can take that, that the turret off, set your zero point. So once you have it zeroed for 100, you can always dial down if you want to shoot further, but you can always return to your, your, uh, your predetermined zero. Two and a half to 10. Correct. And I see on the left-hand side, am I looking at a parallax adjustment yes. or an illuminator or both? Both, actually. So um, you'll have the parallax adjustment as well as the illumination, and this will feed a, feature our auto live. So if it sits idle for three minutes, it'll turn itself off to conserve the battery. And as soon as you pick it up and move it around, it'll turn the illumination back on to the previous setting, as well as there's off points in between each setting. So it gives you a lot of options to play with. How much is this one gonna run? When can I get it? So that's gonna be $649.99. And we just announced them. And I do believe they're live on our website right now. And you can start placing orders for them. Now, this one is a pre-order and I, I don't believe they're shipping right now, but you can actually start placing orders for them. Gotcha. Can I get this one wet? Absolutely. Um, so this one, once again, we test to a minimum of, of one meter, but we've had these in excess of that. Um, that's a, kind of the standard we go across the board is a minimum of one meter. And we've had these much deeper than that, mm -hmm. but that's what we test every single one to to make sure. At that price, am I getting the tube or am I getting uh, the tube and a mount? So that is just the, the scope itself. Mm -hmm. the, the mount you see on there is a new addition to our line as well. That's the GLX series mount. So that's our US made scope mount. Um, so that is an additional $89, no, $99. But the, the $649.99 is for just the scope itself. What about night vision settings for each of these optics? All of these ones before us do have night vision settings. So for the two and a half to 10, you're gonna have two settings. On the, the low end four is specifically geared for use with night vision. The, the red dot will have another two settings and then this will use the, the same 507 night vision settings that Holosun offers on theirs. So these are all night vision compatible if you want to use it with like your PVS 14s or what, what have you. What's the warranty like on these? So on all of these, uh, lifetime warranty. And so that's all the products are lifetime warranty with us. Okay, so really, I mean, we've got a bunch of relatively affordable optics that Absolutely. you guys feel pretty confident in. Yep, yep. Well, thanks for Ian coming on the program. Yeah, the thanks Gun for having Fest me. Share the, oh, no, 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 anytime. Anytime, Ian, you want to Thank uh, you. come on to TFP TV, uh, share new products with us. We're glad to have you. We're glad that you guys are watching GunFest 2021. Make sure to check our playlist, not only on TFP TV, the main channel, but TFP TV Showtime, our side channel. Keep watching. We're going to be bringing you more from GunFest.